Hello and welcome back everybody to the Albino Hunter. Now it's been a while, hasn't it? So I did a few side quests off screen. And this particular one seemed um, rather interesting, at least judging by the first few sentences. So I thought let's do it together. It's the side quest of Frankfurt, our dear, whoops, wrong house. Uh, our dear, I don't know, wannabe, mayor, <laughs> whatever you want to call him. So Frankfurt, what's up? Good day, Frankfurt. Yar, I can't remember what kind of voice I gave to Frankfurt. I don't know. I'm just going with the flow. Yar, how be the wind in your sails? I don't own a boat. That be no excuse. Ah, silly Frankfurt. Whatever, I might as well be off now. Not so fast. I refuse to accept this. I'm sorry. Who are you? Obsidian Sickle. Uh, I'm Quintan Fargus Writer. Oh my god! Fourth wall breaking. I'm sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about. As for you, Frankfurt, we're going to have to do something about you now. Now, aren't we? Yar. Uh, excuse me, but uh, why would any sane woman want to have anything to do with Frankfurt? The odd. I'm a writer, dang it. A much more competent one than Sherry Summer, I might add. Oh my god, a challenge in-game to the creator. Who is, by the way, very in... Who is very nice, by the way. She answered me in the comments and stuff. And I find it absolutely atrocious that she didn't end up using a character with so much potential as Frankfurt here. Oh, so that's why he gets the quest, huh? <laughs> Dare I even ask... De Dare I even ask as to what the fuck you're talking about? Like, look at him. What does Cherry Summer use him for? Apart from Vivian not wanting to marry him? Absolutely nothing. I won't stand for it. I won't let him be just one... Just some red herring. No! Frankfurt the Art will have purpose. Even if I have to make one for him. Frankfurt is art. Can't you just leave it at that? Never! Oh, well that was a, <laughs> a rather quick change of mood. Now Frankfurt, let's go, let's get your wife, shall we? As long as I don't have a... I don't have to get the cucumber. What? <laughs> oh, wh what? Well, uh, first of all, I, I'm not sure I understand that correctly. And if I understood that correctly, still what? <laughs> oh no, of course, of course not. Wait, why get Frankfurt a wife of all things? I'm a hopeless romantic. What can I say? Yeah, that that is a sign that you probably will end up with someone, my friend. The writer of, you know, she's the writer of, you remember that? Oh well, just saying, little foreshadowing. I cannot believe this is happening. So, uh, about that maybe quest here? I will find Frankfurt a wife. I will, s I will. Say, Callum, if you meet any matchmakers on your journey, would you mind making me, uh, taking me, um, what am I reading today? Would you mind taking me and Frankfurt to see them? I thought you just said you were going to find Frankfurt a wife. Hey, it doesn't hurt to get an outsider's opinion. What do you think editors are? Good point, actually. <laughs> Good point. I'm gonna get married and a yo-ho-ho -ho and a kettle of fish. What does the obsidian woman see in this guy? Okay. So, it's just another side quest. Not really something we can do off right now. So a matchmaker, you say? Hmm, who could be a matchmaker? I don't know. Oh, maybe the witch. I mean, the witch is probably not a matchmaker, but I kind of have the feeling the witch is a missing, uh, a fitting match for our dear old pirate mayor wannabe man thing. Frankfurt the Art, you know. He has that name for a reason. 
So let's see what the witch is up to. It's, it was up here, wasn't it? As mentioned, I haven't played this game in a while. I had a problem with it. It uh, it kind of. God damn it! It kind of crashed. Um. God damn it! Okay, here we go. It uh, kind of crashed always when I did one um, side quest where I had a lot to fight. And actually, the creator Cherry Summer told me that this is uh, that this always happens. So I just need to save a lot wh when I fight very much. So, now that I know that, it's actually not a problem anymore and I can play this game again. <laughs> Hello, witch. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, look who it is. Hello, Ganguro. Come to try and assassinate me again? No, just visiting. <laughs> you know, like normal people. Well, I'm intrigued that you're trying to be sociable after what happened last time. Do you really think I want to talk to you? No, I suppose not. Uh, I see that heating problem is fixed. Yes, I no longer need to wear three sets of pajamas and eight blankets to that. I am pleased with that Mr. Stevens fellow's work. Yeah, so this is awkward. Well, as long as you're here, I might as well ask a favor of you. Uh, sorry, I don't do favors. I will pay you for the, your trouble. I'm listening. I want you to send a message to a man by the name of Robert Burns. Ah, that man I know. And by message, you mean a violent message. You do not need to kill the man, but yes, a violent message. Very well. What trouble has the man caused you? Stop asking questions. Now will you do it? Explain. I refuse to take part in this task unless you explain yourself. Fine. Who in the world would just do that? See that wedding dress over there? What of it? I've never worn it. It's because of Robert Burns that I am still Miss Manba. So he's your ex, man. If you must put it so bluntly, then yes he is. However, you are not to take this as the pity calms of a foolish little girl. Understood? Understood. But uh, why send me? And why now, of all times? I recently found out through Mr. Stevens that Robert Burns has a daughter. A daughter that should have been mine. The favor I ask of you is one to avenge my dignity. I still don't have the nerve to wish for his death. But he needs to know that he made a mistake. Hmm. Now once again, will you do it? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh, uh. I mean, we did more fucked up shit, didn't we? Or at least, um, Callum has at one point of his life probably done more fucked up shit. <laughs> he seems like a rather ruthless person from time to time. Ah, <sighs> I'm unsure. I don't know if I should believe her. Maybe if I take no, then I can come back later and do it anyway. So let's say no for now. You are a fool, Callum Knox. You are a witch. I would be a fool to agree. Yeah, maybe later. Maybe, maybe later. Whoops. Or maybe this is just a normal choice. Will you do the quest or not? And I'm a fool for not doing it. That might as well be. Still, I'm not too sure. First, okay. I'm barely high enough level. Ah, yeah, I remember that. Okay, we can't go there as of now. So, what else is there to do? So, we need to find a matchmaker. Also, I might want to talk to Mr. Burns. About the whole, uh, you did not marry the witch thing. Shall we do that first? Yeah, let's first go to the castle, because it's first on the way. If you don't remember anymore, uh, I think Robert Burns was the general or something like that. Oh! 
Wasn't Robert Burns the nice person? Was Robert Burns you? Or is your name just coincidentally, Robert? I think I uh, may have switched two persons in my mind. Huh. Okay, whoops. Also, he says something different and I skipped that now. That is kind of uh, shit. So he said something to Helga. Ah, yeah, right. Helga is, is, is the daughter of someone important. Or something like that. God, it's over a month. I should have watched the videos again. <laughs> oh, but I know Helga is important. I know that. Even though she usually is a bartender. Anyway. And what brings you to the brink of this battlefield, dear? Yes, Mr. Knox. Why are we here exactly? I thought perhaps this man would have a job that we could... Robert has sold his soul to the military. He would never ask you to do anything unless you enlisted. This means oh so much coming from you, little Miss Tavernus. I sense that you know this man beyond our encounter today. Astute observation, Mr. Knox. Now is there any reason why you accompany this stubborn hermit? I guess a friend of mine. She's with me as a courtesy. Shame. I had hoped that when you grew older, you would have grown out of your poor taste in France. My choice in companions does not concern you. Wait, is he your father? Unfortunate, isn't it? Unfortunate for whom? Remind me who is the respected military official and who is the bumbling drunk tart in the family. Come, Mr. Knox, if we stay here any longer, I think I will be, I will be sick. Okay, yeah, you think uh, Helga would show more respect to her parent. So is that Robert Burns? And I'm... Okay. Well, if that is Robert Burns, then I have no further moral problems with beating him up. So your family, yes, but, uh, whoops. We were never close. He wanted a soldier. He got a daughter. A woman not allowed to, allowed to join the military? They are, but they are rarely as successful as men. So, not in his eyes. I see. That's why I like you, Mr. Knox. When we talk, you look at my eyes, not my breasts. Of course, just as you can look past my far comple fair complexion. Anyway, let us be going. <laughs> I don't know how much longer I can stand to be around here. Oh, I got an um, achievement. Daddy issues. Well, then, uh, then, whoops. What the fuck are you guys doing? I want to be part of it anyway! Hey, why did you stop? Well, uh, okay. Your exercises are very strange. But, now I can go back to Love Witch and give La Father La S kicking, as the French people say. Alright, salut Madame Witch. How are you doing? Yes, I will do it. He is a major at Fort Mudpond. Do not disappoint me. I know, I know. Now I know it. Now I'm ready to kick ours. Oh, I probably should have saved beforehand. If Robert Burns is not the Robert at the counter, you know, at the desk there in the, the front. Maybe now I'm... Maybe now I have to kick someone's ass I don't even want to kick. Well, too late for that. Now we will have to do that. All right, Mr. Burns, I came to end you. Kind of. Somehow. The witch didn't seem very certain herself. I am here, whoops. I'm always skipping. God damn it, fake Xbox controller. I am here on behalf of Ganguru Mamba. I need to give you a message. I have no interest in what that monster has to say. How unfortunate for you. This message isn't verbal. I love Callum. <laughs> A challenge, eh? Fine, if it's a beating you want, it's a beating you'll get. I may have wanted to heal, actually, before I do this fight. Ah, there we go. Wonderful. Callum's party was victorious. Yay. Helga's now level 12. Ugh. You think you're a hero, don't ya? Well, you're nothing more than a common thug. My business here is done. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Look at you, a mindless dog who blindly follows orders from whoever willing to feed you. You think she's the victim here? Did she even tell what you what she did to me? Go on. I'm listening. She was my fiancé once, 
Yeah, at one point I thought of marrying that freak of nature. She was prettier then, a lot prettier. It's easy to understand why I was so gullible to what she told me. I didn't pick up on the signs. I didn't see the truth that was staring me in the face. What truth? She was one of them. One of those mutants that lurk in caves to rot. The ones who resort to cannibalism when their food runs low. The enemy. You mean she's drow? Now you're beginning to catch on. When the idea first hit me, I didn't want to believe it. But when she told me herself, I couldn't deny it any longer. I did the first smart thing I had ever done and ran back to Thistletown as soon as I could. Back to real people. I married the Brewer's daughter and never looked back. And now look, that cowardly... One, two, three, four, five. Bitch sends you out to her do her dirty work. I hoped she'd be stupid enough to set foot in mud pond, so I could kill her on sight. You know what I don't understand? How people insult other people by calling them a dog and variants thereof. The heck does that even mean? Humans could learn a thing or two from dogs. Loyalty, trust, the chain of command, to name a few. But one thing dogs have always had over humans is their ability to disregard appearance. Large dogs will bow down to small dogs, dogs of two separate breeds will be best friends, while two dogs of identical breeds can be the worst of enemies. Dogs, dogs do not look at size or color, they do not focus on differences, yet one look at this stupid war reveals the shallowness of humanity. What? Are you saying that I'm like the worst kind of dog? Is that it, Nox? No, comparing you to the worst, disease-ridden mud to roam the streets would be an insult to the dog. This is what I'm saying. Tch. Guards! Guards! Seize this man! Whip him! Trash him! Make him regret the day he was born! G -g Guards! I was going to leave anyway. Wow. That was a rather heavy speech, Callum. But well done, Mr. Knox. You are completely right, actually. Well played, Mr. Knox. Well played. Okay, let's see what the witch has to say to our ass whooping. And afterwards, we'll see. Uh, no, we will, won't see anything. We actually will end the episode. Well, your message has been delivered. Excellent. Your pay as promised. 5,000 gold obtained. Thank you, Knox. You're a decent man, and you are a decent woman. If only where you were there 30 years ago, maybe then I would have had a chance at happiness. I wish Ganguro had been my mother. <laughs> Aww. That's not nice to say. Was your mother that bad? Okay, that's it. I got the achievement, that's all. You have something else to say? You're a decent man, Callum Knox. Let's see if I come in again and something changes. No, okay, that's all. So that is that quest, I guess. So, I will look for the uh, matchmaker off screen. And when I found him, um, I'll come back to this game and uh, yeah, then we'll see each other again. So, thank you everybody for watching. And yeah, as mentioned, I'll see you then. Bye bye.